Welcome to the coin in Book Fantasy Collection by Jade Summer. I already mentioned that when I just got the book, the fairy part of it was my least favorite. I was much more interested in mermaids, dragons and vampires. But then, after my first finished picture here, the spring fairy, I realized that it's quite easy for me to experiment in this book with my new mediums like set of alcohol-based markers or acrylic and gouache paints. Maybe I don't feel pressed, because many of the fairy's designs are slightly similar one to another, so I can select any page and practice with various color combos and various medium combos. Today I decided to use everything – markers, pencils, paints. and. First, I decided to do background. When I started, I had only a slight idea about which colors I want to see on the page. I knew that I want background to be deep blue and gray, and grass also will be blue but brighter, and maybe with addition of green and turquoise blue. That was everything I decided on the first step. I thought that after I do the background, it will be easier for me to decide about colors for the fairy's wings and dress. First, I covered areas of the night sky using Prussian blue alcohol-based markers, and then I selected several markers in blue-gray shades from lighter to darker colors, and I covered trees. Well, markers work quite well on this paper, but I would say that dark and intense colors they work nice, but when you start to work with light colors, there starts your problems. And again, it's because of the black underpaint on the other side of the list. When I applied a light color, uh, paper was wet for a couple of moments, so it wasn't easy to decide. Did you select the right color? Because you were able to see through the page that black paper on the other side of the paper. Then, after uh, alcohol dried, after a couple of minutes, I was able to see pastel colors of markers. But when you color during the process, it created some problems. I wasn't sure because of this visible black paint. Did I mix it smoothly, my markers? Man did I manage to create a smooth gradient, especially when I used very light colors like cream or party on the skull? But uh, I think that now, when I realized where is the problem, it will be easier for me to proceed. And of course, markers helped me to cover background with the main colors very quickly. Then I decided that I want, don't want to risk and to continue my experiments with markers. I wasn't sure how many layers it's possible to apply. So, in the areas where I felt that I need to increase contrast or where I wanted more um, strong shadows or where I simply wanted to add some additional color accents, I decided to apply pencils. Pencils lay down all the layer of markers really well. For today's coloring, I decided to use as a main set my Su color pencils, but I also used one polychromos so far when I wanted a really nice deep blue color on the leaves, and one Kohinoor polycolor when I needed a very nice soft pastel yellow. I wanted this page to be more like painting and less like coloring, so of course I wanted to get rid of the black lines. So after I finished to color elements of the background with color pencils, I switched to acrylic and gouache paints. It doesn't matter what to use, what is important is to find matching colors to be able to mask black lines. Or, of course, you can use Posca pens if you have good variety of colors. On the trees, I used various shades of grey colors from my set of grey acrylic paints. 
On the grass I added a little bit of turquoise blue and pastel green colors to outline grass and I decided to cover flowers with white first, then with very delicate pink and yellow. I was satisfied with my start with the background which I got. Indeed, alcohol based markers they really help to color quicker. And I do love how pencils lay on top of the layer of markers. So, my only big problem was when I worked with very light pastel colors of markers and when I wasn't able to get did I select the right color and I had to wait for a couple of minutes until paper was dry again and that awful black paint from the back disappeared. I hope that I will manage to select interesting color combo for the fairy's wings and for her dress. So I hope that you will be watching the second part also.